remember what Jack Nichols said, that this is the best place to have a chance to get up and down for a par for Bob Tway, so it, it's not over. action after a word from our local stations. That is the shot of Bob Tway out of the bunker. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Can you believe it? Huh? You, you think he was watching Payne Stewart a minute ago? Unbelievable! When it looked like he had lost it, he's put it in the hole. And unless Greg Norman can chip in from the difficult rough for his three, it's all over. Well, did that make your skin tingle a little bit? That happened so suddenly I didn't have time. Look at him. It's finally dawning on him. But just remember, oh. you know, when he came up to the green, he went over and he looked at Greg's lie. Now, I, don't, I can't tell from here what kind of lie Greg has. Greg has a terrible lie. Does he? Awful. We will replay that shot. I don't know whether we got back a little bit late for that shot or not. But he'll, he'll replay it a again. million times. That was some bunker shot. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I think that is unbelievable. Well, well you've had it happen to you before, though. Things yeah. like that, Watson oh, at, sure. at Pebble Beach. And uh, and it happens sometimes. And, you know, obviously Bob's a good bunker player, and he proved it right there. This for the tie. It's all over. Bob Tway has won the PGA Championship at age 27 after trailing by nine shots with 36 holes to play. He went out, shot a course record 64, came from four shots back on the final round, and has frustrated Greg Norman's attempt to win two major championships in a row. Three-time All-America at Oklahoma State University. Comes up a long line of successes as an amateur, but then missed making the professional tour his first three times. Here it is again, the shot that won the PGA. Some people have said Bob is kind of quiet, unobtrusive out there, <laughs> yeah. not too uh -huh. colorful. <laughs> yeah, and it's just another tournament. <laughs> he wasn't right? too quiet about that one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> just another tournament, too, Jack, right? Just right. another tournament. There it is again. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> I think that is really great for the game of golf. Bob, that was perhaps one of the most dra dramatic shots in recent memory in golf. I wonder just what your feelings were as you stepped up to the ball in that bunker. Well, I, when I got up there and I saw that the ball wasn't buried, I said, Mark, I see, you know, we still have a chance if we can get the ball up and down. Actually, I thought Greg's ball was on the green, and, you know, it's just a shot that you practice, and it, it went in the hole. You have been uh, described quite frequently this week by members of the media as the poker-faced kid, but when you were jumping up and down in that bunker, I think that all went out the window, didn't it? Yeah, I, I tell you, I can hardly talk. Um, you know, I'm pretty serious, but right now I'm the happiest person in the world. Why don't you introduce us to this young lady with you? My wife, Tammy. Tammy, how did you feel? Did you feel Bob was out of it? My goodness, he had his back up against that wall. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about. I just went crazy when it went in. Bob, it was perhaps the most dramatic of settings. The top two money winners on the tour, Greg, of course, the dramatic British Open champion. You stayed with him down the stretch and then off 18. What were your thoughts when that tee shot went into the deep rough? Well, you know, I wasn't very pleased. Uh, it's a hole that you got to hit it in the fairway. I hit the ball pretty good. It just hung out to the right a little bit, and I uh, didn't have a very good lie. I was just hoping maybe I could get enough on the ball to get to the green. Um, but it worked out all right. You know, for everyone who was ready to, to say that Greg Norman was the next superstar of golf, and he has arrived, and he has achieved that status, you have proved this year that you deserve to be right up there with him in 1986, don't you think? Well, thanks. Uh, it's been a, a great year. 
you know, hopefully I can just keep practicing and keep getting better. But uh, for this to happen, it's just unbelievable. Really happy for you. The kid from Oklahoma State with us now to present the Wanamaker Trophy as the president of the PGA, Mr. Mickey Powell. Mr. Powell? Thank you, Al. We, we're excited for you, Bobby. We know it's a great moment for you. You're going to be a great champion, your first major win. And like Al said, to come down to the wire with, with Greg, it, it's just fantastic. Thank you very much. It's great going. Thank you. All right. Just one last question. It took uh, Greg Norman quite a long time before the victory at the British Open sank in. As a matter of fact, he says he's not quite sure that it has sunk in yet. Has any any of this hit you yet, aside from the emotion that we're seeing on your face? Well, I don't know. Well, one of these minutes I'll be able to talk, but right now I can't. Uh, it's just something you dream of all your life. Uh, keep working hard, practicing, and hopes that you could do it. And uh, it just worked out. You know, it's long. Long, hard road, and finally made it. All right, congratulations. I'll tell you something, Jim. All the people that surrounded this green, you know, love the game of golf. And when that ball went in, there was just so much emotion. Everybody here had chills, as you described it. Back to you. Well, I'll tell you what would tell the story of the Grand Slam Championship of this year. A series of four pictures of Jack Nicklaus at age 46 hugging his son and caddy as he walked off the green of the custom. Of Ray Floyd with tears in his eyes as we interviewed him after winning the U.S. Open, of Greg Norman hugging his wife as he got the trophy at the British Open, and of what you've just seen with Bob Tway. I've never seen a more dramatic year in golf. I, I, I can't talk either. I mean, Bob's <laughs> got me going, too, and I'm so happy for him. I'm sad for Greg, but I'm really happy for that young man. Okay, let's have one more look at it. The shot that won the people. And there, of course, the poker face Bob Tway. Yeah. There are times, no matter how much poker there is. <laughs> hey, are we lucky to be covering this game of golf, Jack and Dave? Both Jacks. Well, the great thing is to see young players like this come along and see how they react when they win some. This is what makes it major, for Pete's sake. You bet. Bob Tway has won his first major championship, the PGA. Some people say it sometimes that every tournament is just another tournament. Jack Nicklaus, you've won 20 majors. There is a difference, isn't there? There's a big difference, Jim. You can tell by the emotion on this boy's face what he kn he knows what he has just won and what it'll mean to him the rest of his life he's now won a major championship he's put himself in the record books and people remember the other tournaments but the majors they really remember and i guess that's why i've always looked at the majors as being something just a little extra special you ought to know <laughs> final word from you dave well it's just it's not going to dawn on him for a while and as jack nicholas just pointed out i mean when he sees his name on that trophy and he reads that trophy tonight and sees uh walter hagan and jack nicholas mm -hmm. and all these people uh -huh. and some of the ones that didn't win it is that whitaker well i think again jim it underlined this year of 86 and the four majors underlines how very important they are to this sport it really defines it and puts it on the pedestal and the four this year have just been Fantastic. Well, we have one more major left, the United States Amateur Championship down in Alabama. Coming up very shortly, one, two amateurs are among Jack Nicklaus's 20 major championships, as a matter of fact. So still consider one of the, the majors. It'll be the final one of our major championships of the year. More golf coming up in the fall. Anyway, I think we've about run out of things to say. It, it really does boggle the mind. Bob Tway hold out from a bunker to win the PGA. This ABC Sports exclusive is what's brought to you by the people of Rockwell International where science gets down to business. By Mercury, makers of the sophisticated new Sable. Mercury, the shape you want to be in. 
by Michelob. The night belongs to Michelob, specially brewed to be exceptionally smooth. Michelob could make tonight the best part of your day. And by Hayes Microcomputer Products. Say yes to the future with Hayes. Well, the 68th PGA Championship was beautifully produced by Bob Goodrich, excellently directed by Jim Jeanette and Terry Jastro. Our technical directors, Werner Gunther and Les Weiss. Our associate producers, Ben Harvey and Jack Graham. And our associate directors, Jeff Cohan and Rob Miner. Be sure to join ABC's Monday Night Baseball. That's live at 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time. The Dodgers against the Astros or the Mets against the Phillies. Travel arrangements made through and a promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United flies more people to Hawaii than any other airline. Nobody knows Hawaii like United. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. One more time. Bob Tway winning the PGA. See you at the amateur.